Today, I wanted to talk about why in franchising it's important to have as many options available as needed. And this has come up with a few candidates I've been working with recently where if you're in a very popular city, particularly right now we see trends towards the Sun Belt, you got a lot of people moving down to Texas, you see a lot of growth still down in the Florida area, people wanting to live in a warmer climate, and you're looking at brands, if it's a more mature brand, most likely they have either already sold the A and B territories, there's still some territory available. If you're looking at other brands that are more emerging, they might have the territory wide open, however, other investors might also be seeing that opportunity. And so whenever we go into any search, my goal is to give the candidates I work with as many options as possible. And I'll oftentimes show six, eight, maybe even 10 different brands. And if we have to go back and look at what else is out there, we can always go and pull competitor brands and yes, they might not have been our first choice, but sometimes there's more about the right fit for you and what you want your lifestyle to look like. And they know how to market to their customer. It's just a matter of finding the business and the one that you want to be a part of that has the right culture that's going to inspire you and you're going to enjoy the lifestyle you've created and that's really important because when you're your own boss nobody can get you out of bed every day and make you go to work you have to have that from within and you have to also inspire a team that you surround yourself with of leaders and always be looking for new talent it's something that every business thrives on and then customer service it's gonna show that you found the right business when you're talking to your customers and you really love what you're doing a lot of times these franchises at the first glance might seem like you want the one that's more flashy and the one that you see on Main Street, the Chick-fil-A, everybody's, you know, of course heard of, you know, different opportunities. Most of them are quick service restaurants that you hear about. Sometimes it's these small businesses with a much lower upfront investment that really have much better margins than something with a big overhead high labor cost. You can find different types of businesses. Of course, right now we see a lot of trends around health services, pet services, home-based home improvement businesses. You've got things around real estate, property management, health and wellness in general. There's so much out there that you can look at and it's just always a matter of having options and you can't get discouraged if a brand is you got another investor looking at buying that territory if they happen to come in first but you weren't finished with your due diligence yet you just have to move on keep looking at other brands there's hundreds of franchises out there to consider each one of them with some pros and cons. And in any given market, you're always gonna have some options available. Most of the time, it makes the most sense to limit your travel as much as possible, meaning you wanna be operating either out of your home market or within a 15 to 20 minute drive, I would say, of wherever your business is going to be. It could be even across town and sometimes if you're looking at buying multiple territories, 
you might be purchasing the rights to operate throughout an entire city. If it's a smaller market, for example, Charlotte, you might not even have more than three or four franchise territories with any given brand. If it's a physical location, depending on what kind of territory they're giving you, it, it might be able to host more, but it always depends what other operators have purchased. Sometimes they may have purchased the rights, but they've only opened the first location and you wouldn't know that until you get a little bit further throughout the process or when you're working with a consultant like myself. I always run territory checks for the brands before I present. I talk with their franchise development team about the available territory and we have to see if there is enough opportunity in your market, we can look at it. If not, there's always more options. And that was main point of this video was just to encourage anybody out there looking at franchising, starting a business. There's so many different paths you can take to get into it. In franchising, you have options and with those options, it's important to look at, I always highly recommend two or three to begin with. Sometimes if those brands don't work out, we might even look at five or six different brands by the end of it. That's okay. As long as by the end of it, we identified the business that is going to be able to achieve your goals you're going to follow the proven business model for profitability and grow your successful franchise business. There's no one best franchise for everybody. I encourage you all book a time on my calendar. We do the free consultation to you. The franchisors really are looking for qualified owner operators. And what I mean by that is your role could be to manage your manager in some cases. Sometimes you are going to lead the business in every way. And once you find the right business that is going to be able to give you that lifestyle you're looking for, it can change everything. Please, questions, comments, welcome below. Hit that subscribe button. Tune in again next time.